Okay, so I'd just like to do a quick review on the uh, manual Glock gel blaster. Uh, so this is how they come out of the box. If you uh, paid a little bit more for one, or if you bought it cheaply online, then it probably came in a plastic bag. Uh, this is pretty much how they come. They take a six millimeter uh, gel ball, which goes in the top there. And um, I've got a few here, which I've already put some water into them. So when they come, you get them in this little bag and you soak them in some water and they swell up to this sort of size. Six millimeter. It's a manual cock for every shot. And that's your standard sort of run-of-the-mill manual cocking top-loading Glock. Uh, this one here is one that I've just modified a little bit. Uh, upgraded the spring so it's a little bit more powerful. I don't know if you can hear that difference. It just gives it a little bit more accuracy over a longer range. Um, the grips and details is just cosmetic, but uh, um, I've also added a little bit more weight into the stock so that it feels, you obviously can't see the weight in the video, but it just feels a bit nicer in the hand than, than, uh, than your standard one. Um, but this one, it's quite nice, it's quite reliable, I like it, it's fairly accurate with the, um, the iron sights, the standard iron sights on the top are fairly accurate. Um, I've found, although they state uh, 18 meters on the box for the standard one, 18 meters is, is, is being generous. Uh, maybe if you shoot upwards, uh, you might get an arc and get 18 meters on the, on the downward fall, but you certainly won't get a straight shot uh, accurate with the sights for 18 meters fresh out the box. Um, with the upgraded spring, I've managed to hit a small target from 12 meters away with accurate uh, sights so that's um, uh, pretty accurate and pretty reliable now I have also got over here got this other Glock which is a magfed Glock one here. Now it looks really nice. Uh, it's got the magazine feed, which it's still a manual, a manual cocking. So you cock manually for each shot, but uh, it takes seven millimeter balls in the magazine, and it feeds. From the magazine. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about this one today because it's a lot more expensive than uh, the other little green Glocks that I've got there and um, to me I, I think it's a little bit disappointing because first things first it's a mag feed so it's got to feed from the bottom all the way up to the top of the mag and then into the chamber. So the first few shots aren't going to fire anything at all. Find you've got to get it about 10 times or something. That's still nothing in the chamber. Still nothing. Okay, finally we've got one in the chamber. So now, theoretically, we should get one every cock. Nothing. Got one that time. Nothing. Got one that time. Got one. Nothing. Nothing. Got one that time. Got one that time. Nothing. So, I think I've made my point here. This is quite a nice looking uh, 
gel blaster and it comes with a few accessories it comes with like a suppressor and a rail that you can put on so you can have uh, other little accessories like flashlights and lasers and things but all in all I think this is a disappointment of a gel blaster it's this this uh, mag feeding mechanism just doesn't it just doesn't work um, I I really want this to be a nice uh, gel blaster but it, it just doesn't seem to meet the expectations that I had for it and it's probably three times the price of one of these and I find that these are a lot more reliable even though they're still hopper feed from the top uh, I think I'd probably rather own three of these than one of these it's um, disappointing but uh, that's just the the what I've found maybe I'm doing something wrong maybe you can hit me up in the comments with what I'm doing wrong if I am doing anything wrong I I don't know uh, I can't see what else I could be doing wrong here but uh, yeah it just seems hit and miss with the mag feed it's either sometimes it feeds one sometimes it doesn't it's uh, a little bit a little bit disappointing um, but uh, maybe maybe someone can hit me back in the comments and tell me what, what's going on. Or if they've got one of these, if they're experiencing the same issues, uh, let me know. Because I'm, uh, I'm keen to find out. Because I really do like the fact that it's got the mag feed. But it's just uh, a little bit underwhelming in, in uh, reliability. Hey, performance-wise, like, like when it actually does fire... It packs a punch fresh out the box. You don't need to upgrade the spring or anything. It's it's quite powerful out the box, uh, but just just seems to be uh, lacking in the reliability side of things. So anyway, that's my little uh, gel blaster Glock review for now. I'll I'll do some more reviews on some of the other gel blasters I've got, including the M4 in the background here, a bit later on. So um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll do a few more reviews. Thank you very much. See you later.